ability to condemn barbaric terrorist attacks on Israel is an absolute disgrace to the international community. If the body can't even uphold the very principles of human rights it was intended to protect, then it should not receive a single penny of taxpayer dollars. It is our pleasure now to welcome Congressman Van Drew here to Newsline to discuss this. And uh, Congressman, you certainly didn't pull any punches uh, when it comes to the UN. Uh, welcome in. How many of your fellow Republican lawmakers share that same assessment of the UN's actions? I don't have an exact tally, but I'll tell you there are a good number of fellow Republicans and of people who live in this great country, our constituents across the country. We're tired of it. We're tired of it being the main funder of the United Nations when so many of their policies are anti-American, anti-freedom, anti-humanity, in my opinion. Look what they're doing now. They're not supportive of Israel. They basically, they don't want to say it exactly like this, but they're basically supportive of Hamas and the Palestinians who support Hamas. It's wrong. You know what? People break their back paying taxes and working in this country. And the fact that we're funding this supposed United Nations, when very often it's the United Terrorists of the world. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Russia and China having so much control of it. You know, everybody else has control of it. Not all that much control of the, by the United States, except that we fund it. So we fund an organization that wants to criticize and diminish the United States of America and Israel. It's enough. It should stop. And I'm sure you know what's happening overseas. Right now, today, at the UN in Geneva, they have appointed an Iranian ambassador to the chairman of the Human Rights Council. Human rights. I mean, even uh, the spectator called this out, saying how the UN appears to think we have plenty to learn from a pariah state which backs Hamas, arrests women for failing to wear a hijab. And of course, uh, executes protesters and hangs gay people. Human rights, it seems the furthest thing from anything that should be used in that same sentence there, Congressman. Absolutely. And that's the issue. Um, you know, supposedly my friends on the other side of the aisle, supposedly uh, our socialist friends and ultra left friends, they believe in humanity. They believe in being humane. They believe in all of those issues that deal with human beings and being able to treat them properly, but they don't. The reality is they're not doing that. The reality is they're supporting. Look, look at this administration and what it did with Iran. Not only did they loosen up $6 billion for them, but they took the sanctions off of Iran, which put billions of dollars in Iran's coffers, which enabled them to go forward, enrich more uranium, enabled them to go forward and sponsor terrorism around the world. I mean, what is wrong with that picture? There's a lot wrong with it. It has to stop. Uh, I just can't believe, you know, even we had a, a resolution which passed in the House of Representatives yesterday, though, and there were, I believe, 50 some people on the other side of the aisle that believe that Iran should have nuclear capability. Our resolution said that we absolutely should prevent that from happening, although we're damn close if they aren't there already. But can, where are who do these fifty Congress people represent? What country Andrew, do they represent? It's, it, it is beyond uh, where we are right now, especially in the world. We know there's the big uh, vote for Israel aid today coming up at four thirty. So we certainly appreciate you joining us today to give a little more focus to the UN. We know there's quite a lot going on as well in Capitol Hill. So thank you, sir. Good to see you as always. A pleasure. Thank you. All right. Also today, we're tracking the latest in that civil case in the New York courtroom. 